Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. I have a question. What is love? What is hate? I love my 2004 Detroit Pistons. I hated the Kyle Singler Detroit Pistons. I loved Kate Cunningham. I hated Killian Hayes. My daughter, Tayshawn Princess, loved when I got her this medical set thing at the zoo. But she hated that after the 17th time on the merry-go-round that I was like, Papa Flakes can't do anymore. Blech. But overall, she loved the trip to the zoo. So is love and hate a bigger umbrella where all of these experiences fall under. And then we decide if the overlying topic is worthy of feelings of love or hate. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Okay, um, we are checking out reasons to love and hate every NBA team's 2024 offseason. So we're just going to read through these and see if, like, if they're worthy of love or hate, man. Because, you know, like sometimes... Things can just be mutual, you know? Hope you guys are all having a good day, by the way. I'm really excited because uh, my girlfriend and I, we uh, we decide on a name for Baby Flakes. I have it on my Twitter, at CrispyFlakes2K, or my Instagram. I think it's also CrispyFlakes2K. Atlanta Hawks. Love that they acquired future-focused assets. Hate that the encore production isn't any better. See, I don't really know if they necessarily went on the out of their way to get future focused assets. I feel like that was because the encore product wasn't good. So that's how they ended up getting like some picks and stuff. I guess they got Dyson Daniels, which in theory could be a younger DeJounte Murray. Um, but yeah, Richie Shea was just kind of there. Well, they had 1.6% lottery odds. So, I mean, that's also a good ways in that you acquire future focused assets. But uh, yeah, um... I think the Hawks could be better than what we think next season. I think Trey Young, you know, he's really going into this next season just with his mindset that, you know, he might get traded or, you know, people are kind of down with him a lot, man. And, you know, um, I think he's really going to have a great piece, you know, in Risha Shea. He's going to be a good rookie role player to start things off. You know, he's going to do the right things, what I'm saying, without having to do too much right away. But then also, I love guys like Jalen Johnson, you know, so... I would say that the love is better than the hate. I hate that truck. All right, Boston Celtics. Love. Whole gang's here. And uh, hate. It's expensive. I'm going to go right off the bat. May I say, do you care it's expensive? What's this say? $500 million? Do you care? I don't care. If I was a fan of the Boston Celtics, I wouldn't care. Who cares? The dudes that charge damn, uh, yeah, 1899 bro, for a Boston, a Boston hot and ready, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the equivalent is. You guys got Little Caesars out there, man? What do you guys eat in Boston? Is it like, is it like clam chowder? That type of thing? Yeah, yeah man, the whole game's here. Like, that's what you gotta be happy about. You know, they gotta have that same fight in you, and I think they will because of the Olympics ordeal. So, yeah. Uh, Brooklyn Nets. Love tank mode enabled. Hate a dearth of playmakers. That's a word. I'm assuming that dearth means not good. Am I am I stupid? Oh, don't well, yes. But in this case, am I stupid? Ben Simmons is still on the nets, right? I, I, I like is he? He hasn't played basketball in like 19 years. Is he still in the NBA? Um, if, if what if Ben Simmons plays? I mean that's. That, that takes care of your dearth. Um, which, honestly, Ben Simmons playing with this team is kind of interesting. He got some shooters up in there, man. So, uh, but I love it more than, no. Yeah, I love more than the hey, man. It's good that they're in tank mode. I don't think, yeah, I, mean, I guess they could trade, they trade Mikel Bridgesley with by choice. Um, and I think they got better playmakers than what this is giving them credit for. Uh, Charlotte Hornets. Love new head coach Charles Lee. Hate Josh Green's contract. All right, man, when you I have zero playoff appearances since G-Wall was there, I don't know if that's true. They've been in the playoff since, right? Right? 
uh green three-year 41 million dollars he, he comes from the dallas mavericks who was in the nba finals like that's gonna have some good teaching lessons right there yeah it says right there 37.5 uh his career from deep uh he's just a very athletic player i think he's gonna run nicely as some uh athleticism you know a play piece that you know what if lamel ball plays too so uh i don't hate that contract one bit i think he's gonna be a really nice piece for that team so nice and next to Brandon Miller. Yeah, that's a, that's an L from Bleacher Report, bro. So uh, let's go with the love to Charles Lee from the Boston Celtics. Uh, Chicago Bulls. Is that is that dyed or is that balding right there? I can't tell. That might be just hair dye. Huh. Uh, love, at least they're trying. Hate. Wait, are they actually trying? Okay, let's think about that. Are the Bulls trying? Nobody wants Zach Levine, so that's not their fault. They traded DeMar DeRozan, kept Vooch, but maybe nobody wants Vooch either, man. So I think they're, uh, I think they're trying to the best of their ability. Say what you want about Josh Giddy from a basketball perspective, like he is somebody that I think could average a triple double, and I think he'll work nicely next to Kobe White, who I think is very underrated. And if not, you know, get rid of him. Um, Ayo Donsumu is very nice. Patrick Williams, like, if there was any time, that was the time, my friends. So, uh, yeah, I, I think I think they're trying to the best of their ability. Uh, more to come by the trade deadline would be my guess. So I love it more than I hate it. Cleveland Cavaliers, love Donovan Mitchell's extension, hate uh, Isaac Carl's strange restricted free agency. The current situation, neither the Cavs nor is that interesting. Okay, so I think they just got him back, though. So I love him more than I hate it because they got a Coral back, which is great because he is a much needed team, a much needed guy at that small forward position for a team that's a little slow at the guard spot or a little bad defensively at the guard spot, I should say. Uh, Dallas Mavericks love the Tim Hardaway salary dump. Okay, another man's dump. One man's dump is another man's treasure, okay? I love that. Timmy is up here in Detroit, bro, since the Michigan days, all right? Hey, Derek Jones, departure and free agency. Um, I love it more than I hate it, unfortunately, because, you know, their dump is our treasure here in Detroit, man. But, you know, Derek Jones, you know, Najee Marshall, I like that they have him. He's a, you know, he, I think he should be shooting more probably, right? I think that was kind of thing on the Pelicans. Like, he was a good three-point shooter, but was really taking a lot of attempts, so he needs to be doing that. I mean, Derek Jones is a good, is a good player. You know, athletic, run up down the court, man. But uh, I think they got some good replacements, so they'll be all right. It's better they got off Tim Hardaway's contract. They didn't really need him. I would actually maybe hate that they got rid of Josh Green more, right? More than Tim Hardaway. Um, Denver Nuggets, love Russell Westbrook, might work for us. Hate penny pinching costs. Uh, KCP. Hey, you win some, you lose some. They're fine. Um, I think that I hate it more than I love it. I think that, that, that them losing KCP... That's a big time, you know, player to lose to Orlando Magic. But Russell Westbrook, it says they might work for us. Okay, this is the reason why he's not going to work for them. Aaron Gordon came from the Orlando Magic. He thought he was the real deal. He tried it for a few years, man, got his 20 points per game, realized he needed to become a role player in the uh, Denver Nuggets system. He, you know, he, he really focused on the core aspects of, all right, I'm no longer handling the ball all the time. How do I play off ball? And he learned to, you know, really cut. He, he played off of Jokic's passing. Have that be, be a catch two, three point shooter. Or, you know, cut to the basket. Man, slash the basket with that crazy, you know, Blake Griffin-esque athleticism. Russell Westbrook, he's tried it once, man. He is not able to play off of other ball-dominant players. He just can't. He doesn't have a three-point shot. No matter what the YouTube clips be showing, man, him at the ding, you know, YMCA or whatever. He just doesn't have it. Like... If he if he's the sixth man and he's not playing with Jokic and you know there's some shooters man like Brown or whatever you know playing off the bench off me he's handled the basketball yes I would probably stay in about 27 minutes per game not closing minutes Russell Westbrook could work in that case so we'll see so I hate it more than I love it here we go some good water that's a good water choice really is all right love Langdon takes over yeah me too <laughs> uh, hate giving up Grimes. Um, oh boy. Yeah, you know, I wasn't really too happy about the Grime situation either. You know, it's like, yeah, we got screwed in the draft again. So it's like, we do kind of have a lot of forwards on this team. Like, uh, I guess Ron Holland probably got to play some shooting guard or something. Whereas, like, Ron Holland, yes, potentially he'll probably be better than Grimes. But systematically, 
Um, I really wanted Grimes on this team. I thought he would, you know, assuming he comes back and can be healthy, he would have been the perfect, perfect, perfect out of playoff Cade. But also Langdon just means that uh, we have a whole new direction, which involved giving up on Grimes, unfortunately. But that's okay, because there's some other good things going on here in Detroit. So, um, I love it more than I hate it. Golden State Warriors love one more year of Curry. Hey, Steph is on his own. I mean, not really. He's really not on his own. If anything, he has more than he had last year. You know, like, Clay Thompson was looking washed. He was. Okay, he's just, they, they needed a little, like, man, they've been, they've been eating too much curry. You need to be eating a little bit more, uh, name a spice. I don't know, man. I can't think of a spice. Basil. Basil. So I think in this case, like Jonathan Kaminga, I mean, there's been some, like, they're not willing to, to trade him for Laurie Markkinen, who was an all-star starter. So they must be pretty sold on him as being some help. Pod. Dude, looks like May could be the next big thing on that team. Maybe not as big as they think, but still, you know, a nice piece. I love Buddy Healed. Like, that's a that's a that's a splash, bro, bro. So uh I love they have Curry for another year. Great. Like he'll probably finish the career there, I would imagine. Um, he's got more help than what people think, especially, you know, like being in people consider him the greatest point guard of all time. So with that, you need, a, you need a little Magic Johnson, a little Steve Nash effect, you know? You got to be able to make your teammates better. So we'll see. Houston Rockets. Love a lot of things about this team. Uh, love the up. I, I love that too. Hate giving up the, the Nets uh, first rounder. Okay. Do not even sweat that damn that Nets first rounder. Could it be somebody great? Yes. Your guys' this team is set, bro. You guys are set. You are very set. Like... You don't need another player coming in, you know, young player coming in and screwing up what you already got going on chemistry-wise. Like, Weed, Jalen Green, Jabari, you got uh, Alpi out there, man. Like, that's it. And then that 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 small forward position is kind of plug and play with whoever will be that guy. Maybe it will be Amon Thompson, right? Like, you have a lot of good things going on there. I, I wouldn't necessarily hate for the team to maybe consolidate um because they have, i think they have abundance of talent bro i really do like good young players you know but you know for them to go out and, and, and get maybe like a chris middleton type of that small forward spot not saying chris middleton i'm just saying a type of guy that would bring some efficiency you know a guarantee 17 5 and 5 to this team you know i wouldn't mind that that small forward spot but uh they really need to do it but yeah reed shepherd is perfect man like i mean you guys you guys got it yeah i'm very very jealous of your guys' team man i love it more than i hate it Indiana Pacers love the implications of Andrew Nemhard's extension. Hate the OB topping contract. Okay, um, the best defense. Uh, blah blah blah. Okay, four years, fifty-eight million. Three years, fifty-eight million. So Nemhard was really nice. So that's a great contract. OB four years, fifty-eight. Like that doesn't sound like a bad contract. Trade, uh, tremendous transition threat. Great for Tyrese. He'll need to validate last year's 40% from three. Yeah, uh, I, I think that's a fine contract, especially given the type of contracts they're already be, being given out. Like, that's not a big deal. I love it more than I hate it. Uh, LA Clippers. Love the Chris Dunn deal. Yeah, apparently he balled out, bro. Man, I was talking some mad-ish about him earlier in the offseason, man. And then I was like, oh, shoot. Dude was kind of balling out for the Jazz last year, man. Hate the Paul George leftover money. Yeah, I guess, like, if it ain't there to spend, don't spend it, right? It wasn't really a crazy free agency. So, um, the fact of the matter is that three years for, you know, 16 million for Chris Dunn, like, We'll see maybe if he was just going for another little contract or if he actually cares about basketball, man. So, uh, I think I love more than I hate it. There be, should be some money there to spend, right? Nothing wrong with that. Los Angeles Lakers. I uh, love LeBron's discount. Hate the Lakers really didn't do anything. Well, they did that before LeBron, man. Let me explain. LeBron James is no longer a player you can rebuild around. 
LeBron James is no longer enough to win the championship by himself. Anthony Davis was nice, but I think it's getting to the point even where, like, AD has a number two option, man. It's not really guaranteed a ring. He might need to be a third option, man, for, like, just optimal longevity and success for winning rings, right, man? The Lakers, they really didn't do much because I really think that you can't plan for the future if you don't really know what's going on with LeBron, right? I really think that for the next few years, they're going to chill out, let LeBron have his farewells, make some good money off him, have to take a sales and everything. And then, you know, they go back to how they were when they got uh, Julius Randle, Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram. You know, man, you just kind of like, you're just kind of waiting. We're going to wait out here because of LeBron. So getting a LeBron discount also means, you know, making the rebuild just delayed another year. Be looking forward to that being part of some type of montage when the Lakers win uh, the championship this year. I, I hate it more than I love it. <laughs> Memphis Grizzlies. Love uh, Zach Eadie's arrival. Hate uh, paying to move on from Zaire. What would they give up? A 20, 30 second rounder? Ain't no big, ain't no big deal, bro. Y'all got Zach Eadie, man. This dude is a thick Yao Ming, bro. This dude is literally cake, uh, Cheesecake Factory Yao. Best way I could put it, man. He's slow as hell. He really is. And that could, that, that could uh, have some issues. But I think in certain lineups, like, it, it, it won't hurt. I don't know if he should be starting, man. He's really going to need to be able to get up and down the court, man. But if you have, like, you know, four other extremely athletic players, you know, like John Morant, Luke Kennard, uh, around him, you'll be, you'll be fine. Very tall guy, though. Oh, and they got Steven Adams. Oh, man, that's, that's scary. Let's put your hands up. You know, let's put your hands up, bro. Ain't nobody going to shoot over you, man. I think he's going to be okay. I think he's going to be okay. I think he's going to be okay. Miami Heat, uh, love didn't cave on Jimmy Butler's extension. Hate Kayla Martin's exit. Bro, if they don't have Kayla Martin, who's left? I was saying last year, like, you only have Kayla Martin at the four spot. Who else you got? I know they got Jovic, but uh, he's like 20. Oh, you got to play against Giannis, man. <laughs> you got to play against Giannis, dude. That's not good, man. Who else they got for that four spot? Wait, didn't they? I thought they did just extend Jimmy, or did they refuse him? Last I heard, he's getting traded to the Warriors, which, uh, maybe for Kaminga? Just saying. I hate him more than I love it. All right. Milwaukee Bucks. Love Gary Trent. Yeah, you got him for free, bro. You traded him some damn McDonald's uh, Monopoly pieces, man. Y'all want you a Gary Trent Jr. Hate uh, Chris uh, Middleton's dual ankle surgeries. Ooh, wow. Yeah, that might not. I mean, that could, that should be a good thing, right? He, like, he got his ankles fixed. Man, yo, you just don't get uh, ISO down uh, with, with uh, I was going to say Luke Kennard, bro, but uh, you won't get this one to Cade Cunningham, man. Rip them ankles, man. You want ankle cross away, man, from being retired. So, yeah, that can't be good, but I love it more than I hate it because I think Middleton will be fine. I think he has a very uh, low intensity type of game. At least he could, at least, you know, like there's still some things he could do out there on the court. Y'all got this man for Monopoly pieces, bro. Uh, T-Wolves, I uh, love the fearlessness of the Rob Dealing. Yes, bro, I love Rob Dealingham, bro. Man, I was I was just, I was really hyping him up before the draft. And Spurs fans got really mad at me about him. And then they drafted him. And then they and then he got traded to the T-Wolves, bro. I think he's perfect, man. Hate fewer passers than ever. I mean, there has to be, I mean, you know, like, by default, that's just going to make people pass more, right? And you got Rob Dillingham. Look, you know how to pass? Mike Conley. Mike Conley got a good uh, assist turnover ratio, allegedly. I think he's got, kind of can't be bad. And I mean, like, you know, Anthony Edwards is a superstar already. So, like, by default, superstars got to average, like, seven assists. So, he'll get something like that. Okay, I got to learn to pass. I love Dillingham, though. 
I'm going to say it now. Rob Dillingham, Rookie of the Year. Because he is going to really be on national TV and stuff to showcase his abilities as the number one CT Wolves win the Western Conference, bro. And it's good. And Rob Dillingham's going to be a big part of that, man. He knows there's a starting point guard role, you know, a Mike Conley retirement away, and it's going to be his. So from a Cunningham to a Dillingham, good luck. I love it more than I hate it. New Orleans Pelicans. Love the DeJounte Murray trade. Hate the lack of centers. Yeah, yeah I mean, people will say, well, position is basketball. That's true, but... There's still a certain build you need to have. You know, like Zion at center, I just don't think it's a good idea. You know, they got Trey Murphy. He's probably going to be like small forward. You got, I forgot about Brandon Ingram. How do you incorporate him? And then you got Herb Jones, who's probably going to be playing shooting guard, man. Like, you, yeah, you need to do something about center. I thought it was weird. Yeah, that Valachunas went to the Wizards. Like, I thought, okay, maybe they have a, a, a plan in place. And it's like Daniel Duh is. They have him listed there. But even him, like... Is he a power forward to see a center? He can be your door, but he's not good at either. You know, so it's like, that's not like a solution. Um, maybe make a trade, man. Hit up the, uh, I would probably say maybe hit up the uh, the Hawks and maybe try to get like a Kongu or somebody like that, man. I don't know. I hate him more than I love. The John Doe will be fine. We know who he is. New York Knicks. Love Jalen Brunson's cut rate extension. Hate the center spot is paper thin. I think I'm, yeah. Hmm. I mean, they got uh, Mr. Robinson, right? He's still on the team. Ooh. I also like that Jalen Brunson got a, a cut rate extension, man. But use some of that money to go get a center. It, like, guys like Josh Hart, you know, really solid rebounder, like, they'll make up for that. But they're still. You need to be able to stop Jokic, Embiid, Giannis, you know, attacking the rim. Mitch Robinson gets hurt all the time, so I'm trying to think. Who can they hit up, man? Maybe bring in, uh, like, Darko. If LeBron can play till 40, why can't Darko? He's been taken off the past 15 years. Bring him in, man. Still throw some shots back, I bet. And some beers back, too, man. <laughs> Keep him away from New York. You guys got a history. Okay, see? Love Giddy for Caruso. Hey, the Sixers are good. Oh, we talking about picks? Yeah, I, I love it more than I hate it. Caruso is going to be the perfect replacement for Giddy. Like, he he does everything that Giddy couldn't do, and that's exactly what they needed. You guys have two trillion picks. It's fine. Any more talent on that team, and Chet's going to be out of the rotation, man. You guys are fine, man. I love it more than I hate it. Orlando Magic. Love the KCP signing. Hate uh, no new offensive organizers acquired you don't really need that you're fine like Suggs I mean he played point guard in college you know I mean he needs to be point guard um you know Cole Anthony I would say is more of a bucket getter um Anthony Blank I, I don't I, I'm not too familiar with this game but uh you know where he was drafted at like you would think he would have to become the playmaker in time if I remember correctly Franz is a, is a decent playmaker so They'll, they'll be okay. It's not so much that they don't have that. It's like they don't have it. It's just somebody's got to step up for it, right? And if you want to be part of the team, you know, a team that's looking to win a championship, you, you get ready to step up or you're going to get traded. For Rob Dillingham, no, you won't get traded for him. 76ers love uh, signing Paul George. Hate uh, the backup point guard seems iffy. That's fine. There's guys out there, man. You know what I would do if I were them? I would bring back Markel Fultz. I think it would be a great storyline. That would be really nice, man. It would be really nice. But I do love it more than I hate it. Paul George, like, that does things. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to be a dangerous team. Andre Drummond. Oh, you got Reggie Jackson? Oh, no, you go get, no, go get, yeah, go get Reggie. They got Reggie Jackson? Oh, they got, they're fine. They got Reggie Jackson. They're good, man. Yeah. Go get Mark Fultz. Chill. Phoenix Suns, love Tyus Jones for the minimum, hate lots of minutes for minimums. That sounds like ROI, man. <laughs> you know, like if they're good players, that's ROI. Refer, uh, return on investments. 
We know Tyus Jones in a contract year, like, well, definitely a contract. He resigned for the minimum. Like, he's going to be looking to prove himself. He gets to do it on the Phoenix Suns, playing with Kevin Durant. Monte Morris, another guy that's looking to prove himself, man. Like, a very good uh, take care of the rock type of dude that had injury stuff, you know, on the Pistons. Wizards was asked to be a starter. Wasn't really his gig, especially with the team he was playing with. Like, the Phoenix Suns, if, if you can take care of the rock and shoot, you'll be all right. I love it more than I hate it. Portland Trailblazers. The Denver Obvia trade. Hate the center glut. I love it more than I hate it. Denver Obvia, probably one of the more underweight players in the NBA. Um, solid defensively. It's somebody that, you know, if you're looking to rebuild and you just want to be like, all right, dude, like you've been spending years being, you know, miscoached over on the Washington Wizards, you 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 come here, man, with Coach Chauncey, Mr. Big Shot, Billups, 2004 Finals MVP, and I will show you the way. And when you say the center glut, um, well, we just looked at about two teams that need centers. Hit up the Knicks, you know, like take like I would say, I don't know anything about Duop Duop Reef, but I would say for this team. You could probably for a year or two go DeAndre as the starter, uh, Klingon as a backup, learn a thing or two. You could go straight into Klingon as the you know as the starter, and you go Duop off the bench and you trade DeAndre and Robert, man. And Robert, you probably not could get too much from him because of like the trade or I'm sorry the injury history. Um, but man, between him and Mitchell Robinson, they get like a complete season from a good defensive center on the Knicks. So I think it's a good trade partner, man. And DeAndre Ayton, like somebody's gonna want him. I don't know what team. What other team was it that needed a center? I don't remember. Sacramento Kings love the DeMar DeRozan trade upside. Hate the DeMar DeRozan trade downside. What are you talking about, Bleacher Report? DeMar DeRozan is going to be completely fine on this team. This dude is going into the NBA season at the age of 34, man. Going to be more motivated than ever, bro. Has probably the best chance in a very long time to win a championship with a team. He's surrounded by guys like Sabonis and, you know, De'Aaron Fox, who are great passers, where he doesn't have to, like, go in and be the guy all the time. Not, I don't think it was last season. The season before, man, he was playing, like, some MVP basketball on the, on the Bulls. And you're asking him to have to come to a team where he just has to do that sometimes? He'll be completely fine, man. You got shooters on this team with Malik and Keegan. I love him more than I hate it. This is the. This was a, a much. I, I I felt like you know like the beam. I thought I felt like you guys were missing one piece, and I feel like Demar was missing the one team. And I think you guys found each other, and it's gonna be beautiful. To lose to the T Wolves. Okay, we'll see about that. San Antonio Spurs love signing Chris Paul. Hate the lack of shooting. Well, y'all better get in the gym working that jump shot, man. Yeah, I'll probably say I love him more than I hate it. Obviously, you need some shooters around, uh, you know, Wemben Yama, but he's only going into his second season. What you need is for some of these young bloods to learn under a guy, you know, like Chris Paul. Yes, you got Popovich out there, but you also got CP3 who's on the court. You know, it's different, man. You know, I, I really think that Popovich could probably just, like, go and chill every game, and CP3's got him covered, you know? So, I uh, love him more than I hate it. Toronto. Love Barnes and quickly locked down. Hate stuck in the middle. Well, I would say if any franchise knows how to escape stuck in the middle, it would be the Kawhi Leonard 2019 NBA champion Toronto Raptors. Right now, you guys are building a beautiful foundation. I don't necessarily know if Barnes is a number one on a championship team. Not saying they couldn't make a run in the playoffs or something. Emmanuel quickly, like, he could very much become a Tyrese Maxi type of player. And then you just get somebody like Kawhi who's like, yo, fun guy want to come back, bro. <laughs> you know, it ain't working out here in LA, man. Let me go back to Toronto, bro. I miss the poutine, man. I miss it. Now, poutine's very overrated. Like, I would probably say I'll dip my fries in ketchup. Utah, oh yeah, I, uh, I love it more than I hate it. Uh, Utah Jazz, love the marketing deal. Oh, they did get him for four years, didn't they? Wow, I forgot about that for a hot sec, bro. Hate trade stasis. Um, it seems like that's maybe by choice. They have plenty of trade pieces here. 
I just think that they want every trade to be the Rudy Gobert trade, and that's just management being stupid and greedy. Um, I mean, the marketing trade was is, is you know, or I'm sorry, the marketing signing is good. Like it's gonna lock them up. Like I, I, I feel like they're doing it more with the mindset that they're gonna try to get something more for him later. When teams get desperate, they're like, all right, we got marketing. Who wants something? They're gonna try to Rudy Gobert him. In all reality. Anything that isn't an all-star starter caliber season is going to result in a decrease in value. Because that's what he's coming off of. But I still love him more than I hate it, bro. Because trade say it's just their choice, you know. Washington Wizards, final one here, man. Love everything aligned with a rebuild. Hate didn't draft Reed Shepard. All right, man. I'm going to say love him more than I hate it. Ain't nobody have Reed going number one. So we can't, like, you can't hate something that was never going to happen. Like every girl I asked out in high school, man. But hey, everything worked out for a reason. I got a beautiful family that loves me and appreciates me, man. And I love and appreciate you too for listening to my 31 minute ramble here. You guys are all fantastic. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out, my friends.